in many curricula of different fields, students spend a significant proportion of their time working as an apprentice in a company. For example, in my university, a typical apprenticeship of a third year student includes around 550 hours of working in a company or an organization. So to get an overview and feedback from this long period is not an easy thing to do. On the other hand, if done properly, it gives a good opportunity to analyze problems and enhance the experience for future apprentices. Assessment of an apprentice usually comprises of several parts, so a lot of information is gathered. To get an assessment, the student usually compiles a report. For example, it can consist of overview and analysis of the chosen organization and its structure, statement of apprentices' goals, a daily diary of the apprenticeship, and the final analysis and self-reflection about one's experience. The report compiled by the student is usually supplemented by evaluation form filled by the company's representative. In many cases, students present their analysis to an assessment committee. The diary reflects students' feelings and achievements in a chronological manner. On one side, the student reflects its feelings and attitudes, and on the other side, its duties. Since different people pay attention to different aspects and describe their days in different level of detail, Getting usable information from it can be time-consuming. Nevertheless, you can get a large amount of important information if you take the effort to analyze it. One thing you can pay attention to is the timing of the problems. For example, if the beginning of the apprenticeship was the most troublesome, a company might consider paying more attention to onboarding the student. Often, the diary brings to light some small details that might be important to apprentice but overlooked by an experienced worker. When we look only at outcomes, the problem can be easily missed. Final analysis is a part of the report where the students give a concentrated overview of the whole apprenticeship. Did they achieve their goals? What did they learn? Did they have any problems? What competencies did they have and what competencies did they lack? From this part, it is fairly easy to see problems that emerged but the tricky part is to decide what to do to solve them. Several questions can arise from the report and you need to decide what to do. Shortcomings of previous knowledge. Who needs to act? Is it something specific to your company? And can you solve it yourself? Can you convince educational institutions to add it to the curricula? If the lack of competences is very specific, it may be a good idea to provide the training alongside with the onboarding or during the apprenticeship. You also need to consider if the problems and shortcomings experienced are apprentice specific, occurring only once, or systematic, reoccurring. This can be difficult if a company has a small number of apprentices. A good way to approach these questions is a cooperation with educational institutions. A lack of knowledge can be a single case for a company, but educational institution may see a pattern. So, in conclusion, apprentices are often required to collect a lot of information, but you have to make an effort to make it usable.